Stacy Gang, Mary Vlogmas. I'm on the Flues app right now. If you don't know what Flues is, you are totally missing out. It's an app that gives cash back on your purchases at certain stores and not a lot of apps give cash back at drug stores like CVS but Flues definitely does. If you sign up with my link you'll get 35% off at CVS. Somebody in the comments was saying they signed up and they didn't get 35% off. That's because you didn't sign up with my link. You have to sign up with my link um, to get the 35% cash back at CVS. So um, when I go to CVS I try to get a $10 gift card. If I'm going to spend $20, I get two $10 gift cards because it works out that you get more back if you buy your gift cards in increments of 10. Y'all don't say I didn't tell you, but it works out better if you do it like that. So I'm going to get two $10 gift cards for this first $10 gift card. It's going to give me like $3.60 cash back. Sometimes it gives a little bit more, but already before I've even stepped into the door at CVS, I already have $3.60 cash back, so that's amazing. I'm just gonna get this $10 gift card, then I'll get $3.60 back, and I'm gonna buy another $10 gift card, and I'll get an additional $3.60 back on that purchase. So to me, that's better than spending $20 out of my pocket and getting nothing back. I like to get my gift cards first, and then get the money back on flus. And that helps bring my out of pocket down. So this isn't necessarily a newbie video, but I suggest that newbies watch. I mean, it's super easy. I would call it intermediate. It's definitely not gonna be an advanced video. So the first thing I like to do when I come in the store is pick up the ad. That's really easy. Just pick up the ad, your choice, but I like to get it because a lot of times, especially when you're shopping at the beginning of the sale, a lot of times, the sales tags aren't up, employees are still putting them up. So if you have the ad, it really helps you. Like see, some tags are still up here. They didn't get a chance to put them up yet. So it really helps to have the ad because the prices and the deals are listed here. Okay, and another thing I like to tell y'all on every video, cause a lot of people don't know, is this machine is good for more than printing coupons. It's also a price checker. Ta-da! You can check prices on items if you need to know the price. Okay, so I just scanned my card and as you can see, coupons are coming out right now. A lot of people say scan your card twice. I don't really scan mine twice anymore because it's the same coupons that are on the app when you scan it the second time. Sometimes you just really get the same coupons that are on your CVS app. And for me, I don't like walking around with all of this paper. You can scan it twice if you just gangsta like that, but you know, we gangsta in OCC game, but we ain't that gangsta. We don't want to walk around with like a thousand sheets of paper for no reason. So here's the deal that I'm I'm gonna do is right here on the front page spend 30 get 10 pretty simple there's a lot of different items that are included and you can see that they tell you right there which pages have more items that you can look at but I'm gonna start right here on the first page with the tide tight liquid and Tide Pods. Both of those are items that I'm looking to get. So I'm gonna start with the Tide Liquid. It's $5.94 and we have a $2 off coupon on the CVS app just like that a two dollar off coupon so it's $5.94 for the Tide liquid is going to be this size right here and you see what I was saying about getting the ad my store does not have the sales tags up just yet so if somebody was to walk in here and think these were oh like $10.49 or $8.69 that is way too expensive and they would walk away without doing the deal but luckily I picked up the ad when I walked in the store and I know that these are only $5.94 so they're $5.94 I'm going to use this two dollar off coupon on one of these and I'm going to add it to my cart. Now for my second one, I'm getting another Tide Liquid and for the second one, I'm going to be using a paper coupon. Let me go ahead and show you that coupon. I'll be using this paper coupon, just one of these, on the second bottle of Tide. So I'm getting two bottles of Tide Liquid. For one of them, I'll be using that digital coupon. For the other one, I'll be using this paper coupon. Now, for my next items, I'm gonna be getting two of the Tide Pods. Okay, I'm getting two of those. And same thing, for one of them, I'll be using this paper coupon on one of the Tide Pods. And on the other Tide Pods, I'll be using this coupon for $2 off one Tide Pods. Okay, so we're getting two Tide Liquids. We're using one digital, one paper two Tide Pods using one digital, one paper. Okay, so this is what my cart is looking like so far. I have two of the Tide Pods, two of the Tide Liquid. I'm gonna be using one set of paper coupons. You see, I have a paper coupon for Tide Pods, a paper coupon for Tide Liquid. And then right here on the CVS app, I also have a coupon for Tide Liquid and Tide Pods. I know everyone doesn't have this coupon, but I definitely have it, so I'm gonna use it right here. $4 off when you buy $20 worth of Tide products. And I definitely have $20 worth, $5.94, $5.94, $4.94, $4.94. $4.94 so I just made it to that $20 mark so I will save an additional $4 now remember the deal I'm doing
doing is right here I'm building a transaction spend 30 get 10 so I'm not quite at 30 so I need to add just a few more items and then I'll be ready to check out the next items I'm going to get are right here in the ad $2.99 which I think is a pretty good deal $2.99 for all and snuggle you can look on the shelf and see right here they had it for $7.29 which is ridiculous but that's what they had it listed as $7.29 that is way too much but in the ad this week you can see it's only $2.99 which is a pretty good deal and because it has this symbol next to it this symbol lets us know that it's a part of that deal that holiday deal right here to spend 30 and get 10 so it's only $2.99 and we have this coupon for $1.50 off so it's only $2.99 and we'll save $1.50 plus it counts towards that spend 30 deal now also this variety is also on sale and also included in that same deal and I'm just going to scan it on the CVS app right here boom you see this one $1.50 off anyone all free and clear that's this free and clear so there's a separate coupon for the blue and a separate coupon for the white so I'm going to get one of each they're $2.99 each and I'm just going to use those digital coupons Last but not least for my transaction, I'm just going to add two of these Dawn. You can see that in the ad it says they're 99 cents and because they have that symbol next to them, they qualify for this spend 30 get $10 back deal. So I'm just going to get two of these to add to my transaction and that should push me exactly where I need to be. Now I'm close enough to $30 to get that $10 back. So this is a cart recap. Let's go ahead and turn the cart around so we can look inside. I have two tight liquid. I'm using one digital, one paper. I have two Tide Pods, I'm using one digital, one paper. For the two Don, I don't have any coupons at all. And for the two All, I'm using $1.50 off for this one and $1.50 off digital for this one. So all together, I'm mostly using digitals, but these are the only paper coupons that I'm using. So if you want to do the same deal as me and you just don't have these paper coupons, you only pay $4 more than I'm going to pay. This is all that's separating us from having an identical deal. So if you don't have these, don't worry. You can still do this deal, except you won't have these savings. But that's not a huge deal, especially if you just want to do this deal. The cart is pretty full. This is a lot of stuff. Let's go to the register and see how this is going to turn out. Okay, y'all, so everything went mostly right, but one of my digital coupons did not come off. So they're getting that fixed over there right now but let me show you what my receipt looks like while they get that fixed and then I'll let you know what happens with that but let's look at the receipt I got first of all I got a lot of stuff y'all the two dawn the two all four tides and most of the coupons came off except for one Tide Digital did not come off. The Tide Liquid Digital did not come off. And that's normal sometimes when you're using paper coupons and digital coupons. Sometimes that happens. The computer gets confused between all of the coupons and that happens. But usually they are quick to make that right because of course I have the item and the coupon should have come off. So that's not a problem. My total came out to $16.72. It was supposed to come out to $14. 70 something so it should have been like 14 dollars and some change but it came out to 16 72 because one of the coupons did not come off but that is okay because i got 10 dollars back so i paid 16 72 got 10 dollars back i should have been paid 14 72 and got 10 dollars back and that would have been like four dollars for all of this if you want to think of it that way but don't worry i'm going up to the register i'm going to get my extra two dollars back and i'll let y'all know how it goes y'all even if i wasn't owed that extra two dollars which they are going to run me that two dollars but even if i wasn't owed that check it out this is good 16 you pay 16 and get 10 back and get to keep all of this i think that's a pretty good deal so i'm going to put this back go to the register and get my two dollars back and then we'll go around and spend this ten dollars Okay, so I went up to the register and they worked it out. They gave me $2 and extra bucks for that coupon that didn't come off because clearly it was the right coupon, but it just didn't come off. But that happens sometimes. And if you're nice enough to explain it, if you can kind of like compose yourself and explain it well, because coupons can be confusing, but if you can explain it well and not be upset about it, a lot of times they just make it right. So they made it right and gave me the $2, no problem. So with that $10 that I got back, remember, I paid 16, I was supposed to pay 14, but I paid 16 and got $10 back. With that $10 that I got back, I'm gonna do this wet and wild deal. It's very simple. Y'all know I don't like to stay in CVS very long. So I'm gonna do this deal right here. Spend 10, get five. I have 10. So it just makes sense to do the spend 10 and get five. So I'm gonna use the $10 that I just earned and get $10 worth of wet and wild makeup. If you're curious about the prices, here are some of the prices right here. And I thought it was pretty nice that they had some lipsticks for only 
179 yeah it looks like the lipsticks are only 179 i'll double check probably going to get a couple of the lipsticks and then maybe something for 299 to kind of bring it all the way to 10 but yeah just spend 10 and get five i just earned 10 so this looks like the perfect deal don't forget to check your cvs app you might have this coupon for four dollars off of 10 of wet and wild cosmetics i have this one so i'm going to use it that's going to take four dollars off i have ten dollars worth of makeup but this is going to take four dollars off so i'll be paying around six now remember i earned ten dollars so i need to spend that whole ten dollars that i earned and with this coupon i'm only spending six so i need to spend just a little bit more so i'm just going to walk around and see what i can add to this transaction so I think to spend the rest of that $10, because I have about $4 left to spend, I'm going to go ahead and get the Tresemme. It's on sale. My store isn't tagged, so I'm just going to look right here. It's $4.99. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm just going to get two of these. Yeah, and there's a digital coupon for $3 off when you buy two. And that'll put me exactly where I need to be to spend that $10 that I just earned. So I'm just going to end up getting two of the Tresemme, because that seems like the easiest way to spend the rest of that money. So that transaction went a lot better than the first transaction y'all I got two of the Tresemme and I got a lot of wet and wild as you can see one two three four five wet and wild products my total came out to zero plus tax the Tresemme coupons both came off three dollars off Tresemme and two dollars off Tresemme both of those came off and then four dollars off tan wet and wild came off also my total came out to zero dollars plus tax and I got five back and I got two bags. So I paid zero and I got seven back. That is looking good. I have $7 left to spend. And y'all know my transaction limit in CVS is like three. I try not to do more transactions than that. So although there are several deals that I could keep spending this on and keep earning on, I have a limit. You do as much as you want to do in CVS. But I feel like when I'm spending too much time in CVS, that means there are other deals, other clearance sales, other hauls that I am missing. There are so many things that I could be doing besides living my life in CVS for a day. So I'm going to finish this five and two and then i'm going to get up out of here and go to another store so with this last money that i have to spend i'm going to go ahead and get the paper towels they're on sale this week for 5.49 so i'm just going to grab one of these i would have got the kleenex to go with it but y'all my store is out of a lot of stuff like there's so many deals that i wanted to do so i'm just winging it because they're out of so much today and it's so crazy so i'm just going to go ahead and get these they're 5.49 i have seven dollars right here to spend i'm just going to grab one of these and to spend the rest arizona's are on sale yeah i'm going to go ahead and get some arizona's there four for two dollars so i'm just going to get four of these to spend the two and for the five dollars i'm just going to get those paper towels that are 5.49 yeah all right, so this is everything that I got, y'all. Let's talk about how much I paid. I'm pretty excited about this considering that I got back, y'all. I got back money on Flues. I got back $360 for my first $10 gift card that I got off Flues, and I got back $360 for my second gift card that I bought off of Flues. That's why it is so important to use Flues first when you go to the store because I already got most of my money back just by buying gift cards first. So adding all of that into it this transaction came out to be great if you're not going to use flus let's talk about how much i spent my first transaction came out to 1672 it was supposed to be 1472 and they refunded me for that coupon that did not come off so i'm just going to say this first transaction was 1472 my second transaction was zero plus tax that was with the tresemme and all of the wet and wild and my third transaction was 49 cents plus tax so 14.72 zero 49 cents y'all all of this for under 15 dollars right so that makes all of this under ten dollars for everything if you calculate flus if you don't calculate and flus you can say all of this for 15 dollars which i think is a pretty good deal considering i was winging it and all of the makeup that i got all of the detergents i'm feeling pretty good about this y'all i could have kept it going but Walgreens is calling my name. I need to go to another store. Let me know in the comments if you want to see digital deals, like an all digital transaction at CVS. I would love to come back and do all digital. But that's it for this transaction. OCC gang, I'm out.